Of course, look at this video. Back in 2008, Hurricane Ike left most of southeast Texas without power for days. Some families even lost their homes. The storm was difficult for adults, and many kids were left with some serious emotional scars. And now one local author is helping families deal with the reminders of Ike and preparing for the next storm. Joining us this morning in studio, Judy Fain. Good morning to you. Good morning, Courtney. Thank you. Thank you for coming in. Patty the Pelican survives the storm. <laughs> this is your book. Where did you come up with this idea? Um, well, it was actually watching your newscast tonight that Hurricane Ike was moving in, and there was a, um, a shot of a pelican being slammed into the ground over at Galveston. Mm -hmm. And I just thought, um, got to children see that, it might traumatize them. It kind of traumatized me, actually. Right. And, and then over the next 12 days without electricity, the story just kind of came about um, by candlelight. Sorry. <laughs> no, that's okay. You know, it's it's real emotion. Uh, Hurricane Ike affected so many of us, and these are scars that are not easily healed. And one way for you for the healing <laughs> process was really to write this book. And was it always going to be a children's book for you? Do you think? Yes, um, I did have to tone it down some when the first people read it. They said it sounded like it was written for college students, so I had to um, go back and and tone it down a couple of notches, but it was always intended uh, for children. Um, and the artist really just captured the images that I had in my mind. And that's so, what, now this is your first book, mm -hmm. published book. You've yes. written some other ones in the past. What was this like for you to sort of, you know, go through this experience, have this in your, your head, and then put it to paper? Uh, it was a learning experience, uh, a lot of stress, a lot of waiting, and waiting for um, editors and people to read mm -hmm. it, and the artwork, and uh, of course you always want it to hurry up and happen, and then one day it does. So That is so <laughs> wonderful. And you know, you, you hit on something. You said when you first wrote some, this book, it was very heavy, almost college student, but that's kind of your background. You're a teacher. Yes, yes. I was teaching sociology at Lone Star College at SciFair. Um, and just recently, my husband and I had to relocate back to England because my mother-in-law's ill. Okay. Um, but we were here during Hurricane Ike, and um, it, it was quite an experience. Uh, the hurricane itself, of course, being so far inland, I don't think it was the bad part. It was the 12 days without electricity, the mm -hmm. week without running water, um, that really made me think uh, that people need to prepare better because they tell you to have like three days of food and water, which right. is really not enough um, in such a severe storm. Absolutely. Now, when kids read this, what age would you recommend? And what do you hope the message is that these kids get? Um, well, I hope the message is that um, you can do things to help protect yourself and ensure your own survival, that you don't necessarily have to sit around and wait for FEMA handouts. Mm -hmm. You can prepare ahead of time. Um, I would say about four to eight, okay. and of course the younger children, the parents and grandparents, to read with them and explain, and then the older children to uh, read on, on their own. And this is one to keep in the family for sure. It's beautifully illustrated uh, as well. Looks like watercolors inside. So, And there's a couple of um, additions being added to this, and you can find out more information about Patty the Pelican. See a replay of this interview. It's all under the hot button for you on click2houston.com. Judy, thanks for coming Thank in. We you, do Courtney. appreciate you sharing your story. Thank you so much.